Hi, it's Mark. Hang on a minute. That's better. Hi, it's Malcolm from Microspray. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the M2000 gun. This is the M2000 Kranzel gun. It's the most common Kranzel gun for virtually all of the uh, cold water machines on the market. They have the M22 version of this. This one's the quick release and it's a brand new one. Um, I was going to strip the brand new one, but I do have one that customers sent me which is an old one with a screw thread on it. So let's get to fixing it. Uh, you First things first, you need to take all the screws out. So that's all the screws out. So you need to lift it and then lift it from under this lip here so that you can take the shells off. Uh, what can happen with these is when the lance is connected and it gets on there uh, very, very tight, when you try and disconnect the lance and unscrew this, it unscrews this from the tube and leaves the little male connection, male thread on there. And as long as you put this on and just put a dab of Loctite and screw it back on, that's when it will seal again. So if it's leaking from here and the O-ring is okay, Chances are this is loose. You just need to seal that. That's the first thing. There's the shells out of the way. You want to tip all the screws out. First things. And make sure that you keep them all together and safe. Because it's quite easy to lose them. Uh, first things first. You need to take off these two little lock nuts. A little 7mm. I actually ground, hand ground down a... Uh, spanner so it would be able to fit on this and then once you've got it loose you should be able to just take them off I'll lay all this out when I get them off so you've got two lock nuts and the washer we need to really take this pin out and if you don't have anything to get that pin out, you can use a screw and screw it into the plastic, which should push it out of the other side, like so. You don't want to screw it all the way because you'll make it loose. But as long as you can get some sort of side cutters, you should be able to just pull it out little by little until the trigger be removed. Just need to take that screw out now. It's obviously better if you have a uh, little panel pin punch. Uh, you probably should keep this to one side now. So there's your two lock knots and the trigger. Now what you need to do, ideally you need to take this part off first and hold this pin in place and so not to bend it. So if we do that now, this can also be very tight if it's locked tighted. So the easiest thing to do is to put a little bit of pressure on there and then unscrew it with a bit of leverage. It's not actually that tight, so I should be able to just unscrew that. The next part is to hold where the two nipples are that fit into the gun housing and then unscrew this other bit again this this can be locked tighted in place when you're taking these out you don't want to bend them or anything you want to just take them out straight so you don't bend this pin so that pin now can just push out from the back end just minding that you don't bend it really tight which is probably why the customer sent it in for us if you're going to be grabbing it with side cutters make sure it's nowhere where it would seal so any of the this is actually a little bit bent but uh, that should be okay 
so we have the housing there's nothing else left in this housing this is just a piece of brass now on this there is a power back so you've got a flat washer and the green o-ring now with the flat washer there's a groove and that o-ring sits on the groove if you see the flat end you don't put the o-ring on the flat one it has to be on the groove so looking at which way it goes is flat washer green o-ring the valve you have a washer probably better that way the washer the spring the pin this is another part that may wear get damaged if this gets damaged it's not going to seal properly on there and the only other thing is just inside this allen key bit here which shouldn't be tight no it's not and take that out and inside here is another green o-ring and washer so if you use a threaded side you should be able to just pull them out so there's the o-ring there's a flat washer there's nothing else in here apart from this o-ring on this bit here might as well strip it down while I'm off while I'm on it tools out of the way so that is how it goes get the grease off my fingers okay so what things to look for on this is you've got the green o-ring on the back if that's damaged it will leak out of the back end of here if it leaks between this housing then it'll be this o-ring here it's on this one if it leaks through the gun trigger itself it can either be this bit here that's damaged or these o-rings that's damaged the little green one if it's leaking out of this hole it'll be this o-ring that sits on this recess here so that's literally all you need to know about it this here you've got to make sure that this is is tight on there um, it, it is a 10 millimeter uh, and it is tight on there so I'm not going to take it off if you wanted to change this for the quick release you just heat take the o-ring off heat it up unscrew it and then screw this in its place obviously taking that off so they're really easy to convert to the quick release version if you need it to so putting it back together really straightforward the o-ring just got to make sure that that o-ring is nice and it's not damaged broken and then fit that onto the recess when you have this you need to make sure that it is the groove side up first and it is probably easier if you put the groove side and the o-ring on put it into place so that we know it's definitely there and then just push it into its place like that and then replace that brass cap it doesn't have to be tight it just needs to be nipped up I think that is enough once you've done that I suggest putting a little bit of grease on that o-ring and in there I'm going to assemble this this one is bent I would probably change it uh, but if you've not got the spare part just to need to make it as straight as possible and make
make sure it's clean. The spring goes on, the brass disc to support that spring goes on, then you've got the o-ring and you've got the power pack with the groove side towards the o-ring so the flat end is to the outside. Once that's done just put a little bit of grease on the o-ring and possibly on the shaft itself and then push it back into this housing making sure that the housing is clean there's no real debris in there if you're going to push this in you just have to watch if you try and push it in like that you will bend this so I'll just push it to where it feels like it's seated because it will once you put this onto it push it back into its place probably doesn't help because it's bent a little bit just literally just screw this stuff back on like so from the factory all these bits are loctited uh, to prevent any coming loose and leaking um, it is on o-rings so it's not going to make too much difference but if you feel like you want to lock tight it, by all means. If you've got the short version of this gun, it is identical to it. Uh, apart from the fact of this tube. So if I took this tube off and put the coupling for the short version of this gun, it would be identical. Uh, obviously, you'd need different uh, plastic casings, uh, but it's the same gun valve. So, once you've got that in its place, you can just tap that back. So, it's flush. That's the trigger on. The washer on. And the two lock nuts. Now the idea with these is you tighten the the nuts up to the washer quite tight. So tighten the nuts up to the washer, but don't over tighten it. So you want a little bit of play. Just that's too much play. Keep tightening it until you get a skin too much play. You just want a minute bit of that's too much, so I'll back it off a little bit. So just that amount of play on the trigger is fine. And then just nip holding that nut where the washer is, just hold it and just tighten it. Just double check that you've got that little bit of play. If you feel up to it, you can test it. Well, I don't advise it. it Take that garbage. So, slotting it back in, you've got to make sure that these two nipples here fit into uh, the gun sides. Make sure that the gun trigger feels like it's going to work and then just screw these back together. When I'm screwing these up I always try to uh, do it from one end to the other in the corners and then you, you know that it's not going to trap anything. Just going to make sure that everything's feels flush. If it doesn't feel flush then there's something wrong, it's not in there correctly. Try putting that screw off. <laughs> OK. 
trying to get my head in the camera. Couldn't see it over. There you go. One more to go. That is it. That's a repair, full strip down of the M2000 gun. If you've got a cold water Kranzel machine uh, that's 240 volts, chances are you've seen this gun or something very, very similar to it. And that is the most simple way of stripping it down, making sure everything's right, greasing it, putting it back together, and it's good to go again. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like, thumbs up, and uh, see you in the next one.